When Disney Plus first launched in November 2019, Lucasfilm took a major step forward with the Star Wars narrative with the addition of The Mandalorian, a series that takes place after Return of the Jedi, Episode 6. The show is now one of the most well-received Star Wars projects in history, having won multiple Emmy Awards during its first two seasons and paving the way for the franchise's expansion into the streaming world. The Mandalorian has done an excellent job of highlighting major stars like Pedro Pascal and Ming-Na Wen, as well as Star Wars legends like Temuera Morrison and Mark Hamill. Despite how much fun these actors had making the show, the excitement has spread throughout Hollywood as more fans enjoy the show's first two seasons. While not every actor wants to be directly involved with The Mandalorian, Lucasfilm's first Disney Plus outing has gathered a sizable fan base comprised of both diehard fans and industry superstars. Oscar winner Leonardo DiCaprio has now confirmed that he is a member of this fan base, and he also convinced one of his other famous friends to join in on the fun. Jonah Hill revealed in an interview with W Magazine that Leonardo DiCaprio persuaded and convinced him to watch The Mandalorian. When asked if he'd ever lied about watching a popular show, Hill went off topic, claiming that he doesn't usually watch sci-fi and revealing a project rule. Hill doesn't watch anything if it can't happen in real life, but that changed after working with DiCaprio on Netflix's Don't Look Up. Jonah Hill remembered DiCaprio gushing about how Baby Yoda was so cute, even though Hill had no desire and intention of watching the show before that interaction. He said, quote, I've done that when I was a kid, it's embarrassing. Can I go off on a tangent for a second? I don't watch sci-fi and stuff like that, so I had never seen Game of Thrones, never seen an episode. I started in the past couple of months. I'm on season four. I used to have a rule, if it didn't happen or it couldn't happen, then I just wasn't interested because I would lose focus. Leo made me watch The Mandalorian when we were making Don't Look Up and it was like, Baby Yoda was so cute, but I just didn't give a fuck because I didn't know anything that it was about, quote. Although stars like Jonah Hill are constantly working on their own big projects, it's interesting to hear that they are also a part of the Star Wars fandoms in their spare time too. Hill and DiCaprio's place in the fandom simply adds to the impressive lore and legacy The Mandalorian continues to build as it streams on Disney+. Plus. And learning that one of the modern era's most famous actors like Leonardo DiCaprio is a fan of The Mandalorian is an exciting development for Lucasfilm, Disney, and the show's devoted fans. The first two seasons of The Mandalorian can be watched on Disney+. Plus. Season 3 is currently in production, but there is no set release date. Hilariously, there was a fake viral story that Leo made his ex-girlfriend watch all Star Wars movies in a theater. So on January 15, 2022, a comedic Twitter account named Lucinophiles tweeted a fake breaking news story about the Don't Look Up star by saying, quote, breaking, Leonardo DiCaprio's ex-girlfriend, Camila Morone, details the worst date of my life with the actor. He rented out a whole cinema and made me watch every single Star Wars movie, while he ran around with his lightsaber pretending to fight bad guys, quote. In case you think that this is real news, this page has repeatedly stated that it is a comedic account. As far as celebrities being absolute weirdos go, this is certainly not near the top of the list, and I can completely understand why people would take it as fact. In addition, the thought of Leo running around a dark, empty theater and making lightsaber noises is so funny that I badly wish it was true. Well, it is what it is and this is all for today's video. I am your host The Breaker and see you again the next time with the next video.